This week has already been an insane week for the world of Destiny 2. Guardians out there have gotten their hands on the mighty Thunderlord of old. We've taken a huge nostalgia trip through the Cosmodrome and we've avenged an old friend. But that is not where the surprises are stopping. What's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today is November 15th, 2018. Another Thursday, which means we're back to cover the Bungie Weekly Blog this week at Bungie. And this one is actually going to be a pretty big one. This week's blog is all about upcoming content. That's right, the incoming Season of the Forge. Last week we learned about the end of the current Season 4, Season of the Outlaw. It's coming to an end on November 27th, and immediately after that we're jumping into Season 5, the Season of the Forge, and we actually have a concrete date for when the Black Armory is going to be dropping. All of that is going to be in this week's TWAB. So, let's go ahead and dive on into the things that we've learned about this week. First things first, in case you haven't heard, the Thunderlord has returned to Destiny 2. It's a part of a really quick questline. It's available in the game right now. It starts with Amanda Holiday. It's really quick and easy to get done. If you haven't yet, go and get this quest done. Thunderlord is incredibly fun and really powerful. It's a really fun gun that's more than worth a slot in your inventory. And for you Guardians who've already got it, we've got some new Bungie rewards coming your way. Upon completing the quest and reclaiming your Thunderlord, you'll also unlock availability of the newest addition to their Bungie Rewards program. You'll have until 11.59pm Pacific Time on November 27th, the end of Season 4, to claim your code and acquire a new wearable trophy. That's right, we've got some more real-world swag for you to rock out if you've already completed the Thunderlord quest. We're going to have access to this awesome new long sleeve t-shirt that will serve as your in-real-life trophy for reclaiming the mighty machine gun of old. Let that thunder rain, Guardians. But alright, let's jump into some seasonal content talk. This is some big stuff. If you Guardians have been paying attention to the different communities out there, you'll know that we had a bit of a leak for Black Armory drop yesterday. The launch date for Black Armory was revealed to be December 4th, and this week's swab basically confirms that. And this information drops in the section titled Season of the Forge and Beyond. As announced last week, Season of the Forge will begin on November 27, 2018. On the day it arrives, we're planning to release a brand new Vidoc and a full gameplay calendar to illustrate what awaits your Guardian for the rest of the year. What we have planned are not the post-launch expansions you may have played in years past. Your Starside journeys will span three distinct seasons that will unfold over the rest of the year. And of course, this is referring to the annual past seasonal content. First off, we started Forsaken within the Season of the Outlaw. We're moving into the Season of the Forge starting after November 27th. That's going to be Season 5, and it's going to be heralded by the official release of the incoming first of the annual past DLCs, The Black Armory, now confirmed to be dropping on December 4th. Bungie's finally updated their Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass page. And here you can see some official confirmation of not only the release date of the Black Armory, but also some other really important information concerning some of the future seasons we'll be getting in 2019. As you can see here, the Black Armory DLC content will be delivered over the course of the Season of the Forge, starting on December 4th and going until March 4th. This will include access to the Black Armory, a new activity titled The Lost Forges, which is probably what was previously called Forges of the Chain, a new raid, exotic weapons, quests, triumphs, and collections. Now previously the raid was referred to as a raid lair. I don't know if this is just a mistype here on the official website or not. But we do get that official confirmation that Black Armory is going to be dropping the first week of December, a mere three weeks away. That's how close we are to the release of this content. And on the 27th, we're going to be getting a Vidoc as well as some other information about what exactly is going to be in Black Armory. So basically, when the 27th rolls around, we're going to have a one week grace period to kind of transition ourselves from Season 4 over into Season 5 with the official drop of the first of the Annual Pass DLC. That means these next few weeks are going to be crazy, Guardians. There's going to be a lot of information to cover starting on the 27th. So make sure you're staying tuned. But that's not the only bit of information that was revealed here. Previously, the final season within this current Annual Pass was known as, well, the Season of the Blank. This website now confirms that the Penumbra DLC is going to be tied to the Season of the Shadow in 2019. Previously, this season's title was unknown, but I think it's rather interesting because it looks like it's showing Benedict, our good buddy there. And with the title Season of the Shadows, it makes me wonder if we are indeed going to be coming Shadows of Callus. Hmm, there's a lot of lore that could be happening there. As we all know, Penumbra is the annual past DLC content that we've learned the least about. 
but it looks like it will indeed be circling around Kallus and the state of the Cabal Empire. Cannot wait to learn more about that. But that's already a lot of information to unpack, Guardians. And I would certainly say the biggest bit of news there is, of course, that we are officially going to be getting the start of the season of The Forge, the Black Armory, on December 4th. That is right around the corner. As was covered in the Bungie Bounty livestream earlier this week, we're going to be getting some pretty big changes coming to Gambit in Season 5. These are mostly going to be quality of life changes that are hopefully going to make your experience within the game mode a little bit smoother. First up, we've got some bounty changes. Once Season 5 rolls around, Infamy Rank Point awards for all bounties will be doubled. Numerous dailies, daily challenges, and weeklies have had their objectives retuned to take a little bit less time and be easier to complete. And a new bounty has been added to the daily rotation that requires Primeval Envoy kills. Ugh, thank you for this one. Too many players out there completely ignore the Primeval Envoys, those are the Taken Wizards that spawn alongside the boss. So it'll be nice to see that we're getting a bounty that points players directly towards that. In terms of rewards, Subdivision Rankups now will award Gambit legendary weapons and armor, so no more blues whenever you hit Mythic 2 or Mythic 3 and all that kind of stuff. Definitely a good change. Next, they're going to be changing the way the Primeval Catch-Up mechanics work. Teams that summon their Primeval Boss second can only ever receive one catch-up stack of Primeval Slayer. Previously, the trailing team would receive multiple stacks depending on how far behind they were. For instance, if the leading team had 7 stacks of Primeval Slayer, when the trailing team finally caught up and summoned their Primeval, they would receive 4 stacks. Now they will only receive 1. This is a huge change for Gambit. The catch-up mechanic basically was put in place to allow players who are already behind, the team that's falling behind, a chance to kind of catch up and take the lead, but it was, in my opinion, a little bit too strong. The lagging team getting an instant 4 stacks of Primeval Slayer really just didn't really feel too fair for the team that was actually playing well, and it allowed for some interesting situations where they, the losing team could like catch up and overtake the lead really, really quickly, so I'm glad they're going to be knocking that down to just one stack of Primeval Slayer. And finally, we've got a change coming to the Ascendant Primeval. They've identified another issue that was indeed causing the Ascendant Primeval, that's the meatball, to not always award credit to the correct team when killed. And they've fixed it. That should be going into effect when Season 5 rolls around. Finally, next week is going to be their send-off week for the Season of the Outlaw. And what better way to celebrate it than by letting the Drifter sweeten the pot a little. We're going to be getting Double Infamy once again, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Time on November 20th and going until 9 a.m. Pacific Time on November 23rd. Then, Triple Infamy is going to be starting for the weekend, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Time on the 23rd and then going until November 27th, presumably whenever the reset happens and when the update bringing us into Season 5 goes into effect. So if you're a fan of Gambit, you're going to have plenty of fun over Thanksgiving week. Alright, finally, we get a bit of a sneak peek into some of the changes coming with Season 5 and Update 2.1.0, which will be the update that brings us into the Season of the Forge. And of course, as mentioned in the TWAB last week, any players who still have to complete some seasonal triumphs and objectives will have until November 27th to get that done. Of course, on that day, the Season of the Forge is going to begin. Ranks will reset and incomplete triumphs for the Season of the Outlaw will expire. And they give us a little list of what exactly is going to be resetting once that date rolls around, this is going to be your Nightfall rank, your Valor rank, your Glory rank, and your Infamy rank. So any quests that require you to hit a certain rank for any of those activities within the Season of the Outlaw, make sure you have that done before the Season of the Forge goes live. Now that's not the only thing that's of course going to be changing when it comes to the Season of the Forge. In addition to rank and triumph resets, players have until November 27th to redeem any prismatic facets received from weekly Eververse bounties. After the season transitions, prismatic facets from the Season of the Outlaw will expire and no longer be available for use in the prismatic matrix. This is the same thing that happened between Seasons 3 and Season 4. Finally, if you've got some Gambit bounties in your inventory, those are going to be behaving differently. Players who complete Gambit bounties during the Season of the Outlaw and keep those bounties in their inventories after the season transitions must complete a Gambit match in the new season before turning them in. So you'll just need to play one game of Gambit if you hold on to those in between Season 4 and 5. But alright, there we go Guardians, that's it for the biggest bits of news covered in this week's issue of This Week at Bungie. Again, some really exciting stuff. We're three weeks away from the launch of a new DLC in Destiny 2. Black Armory is going to be starting on December 4th, so we're going to have about a one week period between November 27th and December 4th when we're transitioning from Season 4 to Season 5. But it's really exciting that we're already so close to the next chapter of Destiny 2. 
and it actually still feels kind of weird knowing that we know next to nothing about the Black Armory. Thankfully again, we will be getting that Vidoc on the 27th, which is probably going to tell us a lot about what's coming forward. I do believe there was also some talk about a live stream happening sometime in between then and when Black Armory launches on the 4th. But alright Guardians, that is it for our coverage of this week's TWAB. Some surprising stuff in there. But those are my thoughts, be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. How do you feel about Black Armory? Are you excited for the start of a new season? Are you ready for all the new events, quests, exotics, raids, and all that kind of stuff that's going to be coming alongside Season 5? Be sure to leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But alright Guardians, that is it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.